Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 104. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link. Download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 101 to 111. Hey, 104, this YouTuber said, hey, they wanted to find the first positive number in a list. There it is right there. If I hit F9, so that would be the first number, first number, second number, first number, first number, third number. Now I'm going to show you two ways. One way that will work great with conditional formatting, which I've applied here. And this, the second way will uh, tell us the position. I'll actually build a true-false here, but there's part of it we're going to use in our next video. Let's go ahead and build a count if equals count if. Count if what? We need this to expand as we go down. So I'm going to click here, that's the range, and shift colon. That puts B8 to B8. If you want, as we copy this formula down for the range to expand, because right now it's just uh, one cell, but when we copy the formula down here, you want it to be this cell and this cell. Here's how you do it. You double click the first cell reference and hit the F4 key. I have the dollar sign in front of the 8. That means lock going across the rows. So that's the expandable range. And then comma and the criteria is going to be in quotes greater than 0, in quotes. Close parentheses. Now, right now, it'll just uh, count. But we want a true false here. So you say equals 1. That way, when it hits the first one, it will uh, say true. Now, there's a problem with this. And we'll come back and fix it in a second. But I just want to Control and then Enter to put that, that formula in the cell and then double click and send it down. Oh, look, it found the first one right there, but true, true, true. Why? Because the count when it gets to here is still 1, because there it's 1. When it gets to here, it's still 1. We don't want that. So we need to amend our formula. I'm going to click up here. And notice, uh, uh, let's hit, uh, in fact, let's fix it right here. I'm going to hit, click in that cell and hit F2. Sometimes when you have a problem with a formula, it's good to start right where uh, there's the problem and then kind of examine it. Now, I'm going to do an AND because we, we need another condition. So A and D, open parentheses. There's the logical test one. Come to the end and then comma. And what if we said this one is greater than 0? Close parentheses. So right now, what's happening, that one has to be greater than 0. If we copy this down to here, that one would no longer be greater than 0 if it's negative. If this one's positive, then the count will be come out to be 2. So this revised formula will work. I'm going to Control Enter. And then I'm very carefully going to double click and send it down. And then I'm going to click here and click and drag it up. And now I've copied that formula everywhere, and I can verify. There it is. And also can click here and hit F2 and verify that the blue range expanded. That part of the uh, count if is an expandable range, and that worked. If I hit F9, 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 you can see that that works. And that's the formula I use for this conditional formatting. Now I want to do um, another formula here. And then we're going to use this much different formula for, to solve another problem over here equals match. Now what does the match function do? It actually, if uh, we tell it to look something up in a range, it'll tell us the ordinal position. Now if we ask the mass function, match function to look up the number 2 right now, it would say 1, 2, 3, and it would return 3. But watch this. This is going to be an array formula. I want to look up the number 1. That's the lookup value comma, and look up array. Well, let's highlight this whole range here, right there, and then Control Shift Down Arrow. I'm going to scroll up, because I want to say, um, and we need to lock it. I should have just hit F4 there, F4. And then I want to say greater than 0. Now, right now, um, that will give us a bunch of true falses. But what we really want is a bunch of ones and zeros. So I'm going to put a parentheses around this uh, little array part. It's trues and falses. And then very carefully at the end, remember, sometimes it's easier to work up here. But very carefully at the end, I'm going to say times 1. Hey, here's how it works. True times true. We've seen lots of array formulas. True times true gives us 1. But if you just have a true, it's not a number. So if we multiply 
this whole range of trues and falses times one, it'll convert all those to ones and zeros. Now watch this. Since there's a bunch, there may be a bunch of trues, the match function only finds the first one. So the key to this is that knowing that match, if there are duplicates, it will only return the first one. I'm going to comma, and match type, we want zero. Close parentheses. Now this won't work if um, this will just give us the ordinal position. So what we really want is since this is one ordinal position, this is two, and this is three, we want to say this is equal to three when we get to here. Well, how can we do that? Well, we could say equals and use the row function. And I'm just going to say B1. That way, uh, row B1 is 1. And so f since this is the first number in this list, this B1 will say 1. If it gets down to here, this is the third item in the list, and this will say B3. So when it gets down here, it'll say this will come out to be uh, 3, and this will come out to be 3, and it will work. Now, this is an array formula, so you want to hold Control Shift and then Enter. And then double click and send it down. F9, F9, F9. Now, um, when we come back in our next video, if I hit F2 right, F2 right here, this whole part of the match we're going to use to solve uh, a different type of problem. All right, we'll see you next trick.